guys, it's me Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas. And I wanted to show you how I drilled and filled this piece of crepe myrtle wood. Um, it was, I found it about, I guess three years ago now. And it's still in really good shape. Um, I had three holes in it and then we're gonna add a few more. And we're gonna plant it up with succulents. And I'm gonna show you how to keep them, keep them in place until they actually put enough roots down and get a little bit bigger and they'll stay in there on your own. Um, eventually actually be able to like turn it upside down and they'll just stay in there. And they should, they should stay in there for over a year or more um, if you know conditions are right and they don't grow too big. A lot of succulents actually will stay small if you leave them in smaller containers. So you know that's a plus. Um, and so what you'll need is a cool piece of wood, a hard wood preferably, um, a drill and a wood drill bit. This one is one and one eighth inch. It's the biggest one that I have. And then you'll use a smaller drill bit to uh, add little drainage holes at the bottom. So um, I think this is a really cool project. It's really fun. You get a chance to bust out your power drill. And that's all I really need as an excuse to uh, make a video for you guys showing you how to do this because I really love my drill. So you can see uh, the size of the holes right now. They're, they're, they're pretty small. They're wider than a quarter and just barely <laughs> that deep so um, and there's drainage holes in there this has dirt so I think I'm gonna expand the size of the drainage holes once we get there and I'm trying to figure out where I should add the holes um, there's so many I guess carbuncles I love the texture so I definitely want one a little bit higher up so I want to start right here and let's do it now I'm just gonna take it push the point straight in bracing at my hand and it's on level one right now um let's just see how it goes i'm not pushing too hard all right see it's already starting to give us a nice circle awesome um what you can do is i have a little just a little tupper wear water um to you know put my bit in on occasion, cool it off for a second, because uh, you actually can make small fires. <laughs> um, I did smell smoke last time I was making them, and I thought it was really cool, but I was like, okay, maybe I should put some water in there. Um, cool off the bit now. Let's keep going. All right, now I've turned it up to two. Let's see if we get a little bit more. Oh my god, look at that. Alright, now I switched to a smaller bit just to go ahead and finish that hole in the bottom. And then we'll do one more after this and start planting them up. That was easy. Done. Okay, see? There we go. Perfect. Do one more. Right, and we're through. I'm going to come over here and just clear out these other holes. Let's go pot it up. Y'all ready? Well, it's the next day and we are ready to start potting up the wood. I have five holes with little drainage holes, a bunch of fun little plants, some potting soil, and this sphagnum moss um, soaking in water because we're gonna use it to help hold the plants in place. And I have some just pools, pokies, and tweezers and you know I don't even know what else I might need um, but you can actually use this potting method for uh, like if you don't have a power drill but you still like see something cool you want to pot up like a little seashell or something like that you can uh, use the same method to pot pretty much anything do note that the sphagnum moss is actually only going to be in here temporarily until the plants get nice and established and the, uh, the dirt becomes nice and compact because you know this stuff is known to cause you know, mold and you know, 
keep the soil wet for too long um, but I'm really not worried about that because literally these holes are like that deep and um, again I've done this before I've used this before successfully and a lot of times it just kind of comes out on its own over time um, so let's get started I'm just gonna zoom in and let you watch me work and if you have any questions and or you know come up with some other cool ideas on things you can pot using this method uh, leave it in the comments below I'm just playing around with some ideas, um, little arrangements of different tiny plants. Oops, get there so they're not obviously not potted in there yet. Um, I do like how the purple cubic frost and the brown so uh, copper spoons look together, and I also like how the um, the pinky purples and the sedimentary starburst and the purple of the cubic frost. They kind of just draw the eye across the piece of wood so um, looks like there's a, a theme or you know some kind of continuation so um, I really do like the way this looked and I'm gonna start potting up this hole so first we need to put some dirt and you kind of want some dirt that's you know doesn't have a ton of rocks and stuff in it but because it's really hard to get your little plants to stay in there Filling it up with some dirt. <clears throat> that might be a little too much to start. And then I literally like these, like, they're called like serger tweezers, I believe. Cross, pinch, you pinch them and they open. And I got opposite tweezers. Um, with the tweezers, you can spread the dirt open, okay? Put your little plant down in between where you have made that hole and then just lift them out without squeezing them. And Just trying to get them down in there. We can do a little bit of extra rearranging after everybody's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put these little tiny copper spoon propagations. Let's see. I'll get some good still shots of this so you can see all the plants in more detail after we're done. Stay in there. A lot of times they try and jump out, so you just gotta be careful and be patient. Okay, it's in there pretty well. And now, little baby's necklace. Well, luckily, those have woodier stems. Woodier. So they just kind of go straight down in there. And, okay. So we got those in there pretty well, but they're not ready to stay on their own. So I'm going to put some more dirt. Oh my gosh, I can't see nothing, huh? Let me add more dirt. Okay, added more dirt. I'm going to poke it down in there. And try and get some more on the other side. I have a smaller scoop I'm going to grab. You guys stay right there. little tiny scoop. That's better. See that? Just trying to get the dirt, as much dirt as you can in there, right? Look it down. So many little random tools everywhere. They come in handy. Alright, see what I'm doing? I am Packing that dirt in with a small tool. And the first goal is just to try and get the dirt in there enough, pack down enough so the plants kind of stay where we want them. Now, I'm going to show you. Will you just die? Fine. Um, I'm going to grab some of this moss. So maybe about that much for the first side. Okay. So when it dries, it's gonna grow and expand and stay down in there a little bit more. All right, try and get it as small as possible. All right. And then I'm gonna take these pointy tweezer guys, 
cook its own in there. All around. And then I get another piece and do that on the other side. See how they're all leaning over? They feel like already feel pretty firm in there. Nice. Nice and snug. Uh-oh. Man overboard. Maybe I like it better with just three. I like working with odd numbers of plants anyways. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it with three, actually. I'm going to put a little bit more of the moss up front. And there's kind of a big piece of pumice in there. I'm going to fish out there. Put this guy down in there. Yeah, already in there pretty well. Um, but I am going to put one more little moss ball behind this other guy. Okay, I think that's good for these. Yeah, I really like that little section. Okay, let's move to the middle one. Um, I do like the whole Orthia where we were playing around with them in there. Um, So I'm just going to gently actually like just push the roots down. adjusting. Uh, this guy's leaning this way. Once it gets more light, he'll stand up. And this guy gets a little bit of water and he's going to get perky. Um, we've got two more holes. Okay. And I do think I want to leave the air plant down in this one. Um, it just looks really good and it's going to be really easy for me to water it, as I mentioned. So we got one more hole to figure out what we're going to put in there. And I'm looking at this, just kind of standing back. I'm thinking maybe, maybe you need to get something big in there. Um, so I've had these in this tiny pot for a long time and I was just fooling around with it and like, it's kind of like a perfect fit. Let's see, it's already dirt. Let's try and fit it down in there. Just slide it in. All right. 
Well, that works. So, let's see where, which way I want to go. I really like it like that. Hmm. But I think it's going to be facing out. Yeah, like, I like it. That was a little too easy. Um, but let's just finish. Let's see if I can get any more dirt down in there. I think I can get some more dirt in there. I'm a scooper. Good. And I honestly don't even really need to use the moss, but I think I will anyways, just to balance out the look. It tops. Okay. I'll push it down in there as much as I can. I need some tweezers to get it down there a little bit more. You stay up there. You were doing good. And a little bit more from the back side. Make sure it's under the lower leaves. There. Mm-hmm. Right there. See a sad leaf right there. I'm gonna take it off. That's really cute. This guy's tucked between the leaves over there. I'm gonna put him back with his friends. There you go. And then, like I said, I'm just gonna use like there's a little pup on this uh, air plant. I'm just going to put that guy right there and call it a day. Ta-da! I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I'll keep an eye on the plants that are in there over the next few days and make sure everybody's happy. Might need to do a little bit of rearranging, but... I do really like that air plant. I like how his roots sticking up. I like how tall that colanchos are, and that's a little topsy turvy down at the bottom. This is a really cool way to like use your propagations, and you know, um, display your plants in a easy but pretty fancy and dramatic way. I really like the Haworthia in there. It really does look like really natural. So we'll check back on this guy in a few weeks or maybe in a, you know, a future video down the road and do the gravity test. Maybe, maybe not. But um, it was a lot of fun to make. And I remember when I first saw this style of planting, I was like, oh, that's so amazing. I could never do that. Well, I can and you can and I think you should. And it's, I showed you how easy it is. You just got to have a few little tools. And again, this stuff is like kind of the magic uh, material that's really going to help your plants stay in place so you can start enjoying this right away instead of uh, worrying about them falling out. But uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, click show more and you'll get to read the video description. Um, I have a lot of links to where else you can find me and uh, you know, I always have my website for care tips and more YouTube videos. So this was just a little fun DIY project. Um, I hope you liked it. I really like making it. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.